happy to continue um, with the stuff that we're doing the last time, drawing skeletons and things like that. So we might draw a person and an animal. So probably going to get two things done. So I want to go a bit more detail than usual. So uh, let's start with the person. Um, so I'm going to think about a pose. Um, I probably should have had one. I was going to get one on my iPad and I didn't. Um, so let's do... What do I want to do someone like punching or swinging something? Like a baseball player. Um, actually, real great reference for that. Um, iPad is not going to die, which is good. Um, let's go. Baseball swing. Images. So we'll look for something like maybe just like that. Or actually, after the swing. Oh, that's interesting. See how the body's sort of twisted? His shoulders are facing this way, but his hips are facing that way. We'll go for that. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. So I'm gonna just get some lines in first to give me something to work with. So head and the body's going straight down to that foot, like that. So about, about halfway, that's where his hip is gonna be. And halfway down, that is the knee. Then up here is the shoulders. One's higher than the other. Let's see a little bit. So now I can start drawing in things like the rib cage, the hips, <clears throat> the other leg. Because we've got one hip here and the other hip is going to be down here. So it's sort of going to be back. Yeah, it's a little higher than that one. So this leg's on top, this long one's on top, and this one's behind. So then I've got a lot of foreshortening happening in this top area but then seeing almost the full forearm. And same with this one, seeing the full forearm come down here, but not much of the arm behind. And got a baseball bat. So you should have something along the lines of that. I know I did that fairly quickly, but, um, Let's see how you go. I'll see if I can get this in the picture as well. I'm going to shrink it down. <clears throat> Take that up in the images. No. There. Move this light out of the way. There you go. So you can sort of see what we're going for there. We'll do it as well. So if we unleaf that in, that might help you guys. So I want to start thickening it out. So you can see like his buttocks here, one and then the other cheek, and then thickness of his thighs. So I'm going to start adding that in. So thick down around there to his knee. And then the other side coming up. 
There is a buttock. Okay. Let's go back to this one. So that's how I'm using that image. I've got it sitting next to me and I'm referring back to it all the time. Once I have all that right, or I'm happy with it, I can rub out those construction lines. So then I've got that hip all ready to go. And then so I'm going to start down at the ankle and come up to the knee. And then do a bit of a calf muscle as well, back up to behind the thigh. This foot's actually on a weird angle, but it's a bit hard to draw. But I'm just sort of trying to keep it generic. That's sort of it. It's a bit hard to see that way. Again, I block out. Rub out the construction lines so as not to confuse you. Yeah, something like that. For the bit deep. <laughs> you right there, Isaac? Okay. So I'll go over to the other leg. Uh, again. I want the thickness of the thighs in there, but I don't want this one to be thicker than that one. So I have to keep that in mind, coming down around the knee and the thigh at the back, sort of a bit chunky. And he's got like a bit of a double butt there. So you're gonna see a bit of his other butt cheek. Knee, calf as well. So actually, do, does everyone have a felt tip pen? Something they can trace with? Something like an art line or a thin Sharpie, something like that? Because you might do some um, tracing techniques if everyone has that. If not, we'll do that next week. Okay, heel. I'm seeing the bottom of his heel here. So that's all the bottom of the shoe. Zoom in on that for you. Okay. So how's everyone going with that? Once you've done that, why don't you lift it up and show me? And Reese, I won't be able to see yours because of your background thing you've got going. Same with you, Jordan. Bianca, look at those chunky legs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice thick legs. Good job. <laughs> All right. Is, uh, cool. It looks like he's just like going for a nice walk, a leisurely stroll. Um, that foot here is actually flat. It's not up on an angle the way you're doing it. Hang on, I'll show you the picture, the photo, because he needs it for balance. He's holding himself. And see how it's sort of twisted? Yeah. And that one's just on the tippy toe. Because, yeah, if you put that foot up, it looks like he's just stepping and going for a walk. Okay, so we're going to move forward a little bit. <clears throat> Come up higher. Just going to rub out that hip because it's, I will put it back in, but it's very messy there. Um, actually, I can turn this into the waistband of his pants. It sort of curves up this way. Let's do that a bit. 
curls up that way and then sort of down like that. Of course, the you know, material it's sort of pulling like that. There's a few material pulls um, around the knees or just below the knees. It's a bit wrinkly because um, the socks are tucked in, the pants are tucked in around there. So you need some pulling on material. It's it's interesting to study that and how material folds. Um, like you know, look at your if you're wearing a long sleeve, like I am. This in the last part as well. It's a bit hard to see, but when I bend my arm, see these creases here? And even there, it's pulling. So you're getting creases and stuff in. Look in the elbow, lots of creases in there. And then even here, under the arm, these creases here. So things crease when they're folded. Um, and then even see here, because I'm pulling my arm up. So they're pulling from this seam. Something like that. So have a look at the way material works. Um, we're going to be drawing some uh, where he's twisting here. See how his shirt's tucked in there, but because he's twisting, it's pulling back this way. So he's pulling it all back. So we're going to be drawing some of that as well. Um, but let's just get in the shapes. So I think we might do his arms because they're on top of the body. So that's sort of the next. Um, important bit or the next visible bit. So I'm going to start with this forearm. I'm going to start at the wrist, find those marks. Oh, no, I can't see. And then I'm going to widen out to the bend in the uh, just before the elbow. And then add in the elbow like that. And we've got a wristband on up there too. Let's rub over. <clears throat> so. He also has a glove on. I'm going to just add a little extra bit there for his glove. And then his hands kind of around the baseball bat. That's the baseball bat there, that dark circle. It's the end of the baseball bat. And basically, it's just fingers wrapping around. Two, three, four. And then while we're there drawing fingers, you might as well draw the other side, which I can't see. So I'm just going to come up this way. Up this way, and go back. So it's got one, two, three, uh, thumb underneath. I'll let you guys catch up. Um, and just while we're waiting, I'm just going to draw in his sleeve, which is just a bit of a curve there showing the inside of the sleeve. And then it comes in and then out again for his shoulder. Okay, I think most people have caught up now. So, 
that's the right angle that it's meant to be on. So back down at his waist, I'm going to draw another line because he's got a belt on. Something like that. And um, he's got little sections of the black belt showing through. Okay. And then I'm going to roughly put in his body coming up. Okay, so it all looks like one big join now. Um, while waiting, Reese, how did your birthday go? Good. Right now, I already got a gift um, from my family friends. Yeah. They got me this robot, and oh. I have to build it after. And you guys might ask about Wolverine. Yeah, I got Wolverine now. I got him out. You got him out of the box. <laughs> That's cool. My mom said, um, I like I was saying she she got, like I was chewing her brain saying, Oh my god, I wanna open it. Oh my god, I wanna open it. So she's like, open it, do whatever you want. <laughs> you nagged her. Yeah, yeah, pretty much that's what I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Open it day um before I was supposed to, so <laughs> Green! Okay. I made him a grandpa. Oh, there he is. Cool. He's got two heads. This is his oh. first head. He's a grandpa now. He's, oh, he's got a beard. Okay. Uh, I'm going to mute you and we're going to continue on now. Yep. Okay. So um, we're going to be drawing the creases in the shirt here. So they're pulling around. So. Uh, let me just have a look. So there's like some starting here. Okay, well, it's a bit hard for me to go in really close and see what I'm drawing. Um, and some of them are coming from back here. Like this. You might add in an extra crease in the shirt like that. Sort of all pulling across and they're all sort of going in that direction. Also, the front of the shirt, it's starting on the side, but then it's coming up and crossing into the middle, sort of where it buttons down. And even the logo is sort of twisting and getting all cramped up for the name. So I think it's the cyclones or something. It's C Y L O, and that's all I can see. So we could draw that, yeah, actually. See, I just drew a box, but I'm going to put the letters in there. So C Y and the other C is a bit squished, but you can't see it. And the L can barely see because it's all being used. And then the O, if you have done that, it's hard to tell what it is. Actually, he's got creases from his other underarm as well up here. Okay, I'll leave that. The next thing we're going to do is the forearm going across and that arm. But I'll let you do those creases first. So it looks like Will and Jordan are still, or oh, Alec is still trying to catch up. Bianca, are you wearing a dress again? Fair enough. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move in a bit closer. I've got to hold it down. So I'm going to draw this, oh, this arm up 
Yeah. I'm just going to rub out where those shoulders were because that's going to be a bit confusing. So, I can't see around my phone, but the elbow is about there. So, you can put sort of a bit of a curve in there for the elbow. You can thicken out and taper down to the uh, the wrist, which is actually up here, almost a little bit too low. He's got another little wristband on, and then the top of his glove. And then he's um arm and shoulders actually stick up higher than I've drawn it there before. Just going to rub it out. Coming over his face a bit. And then, can you see, see that? Uh, hang on, Reese, I'll get your question in a second. Uh, and the sleeve is actually coming down so you can see the underside of it there. Uh, Reese, got a question? Um, I had some wood and it spilled all over my drawing, so. <laughs> Let's see, did it smudge it all? Yeah, it literally smudged the whole thing. It looks like an armless person. <laughs> <laughs> That's still good. Just have you got a tissue or a towel to mop it off? Well, I tried and then, well, I uh, just, I can't talk properly. I have hiccups. <laughs> That's the main reason why I got the order. Okay. Uh. All right. Um, let's see. We are going to go onwards now to the. The head. Actually, no, let's do the baseball bat. So I'm just going to turn this around because I can draw that way a bit better. But the bat is thinner up here. And then oh, I'm trying to see under my camera, under my phone. And then it sort of widens a little bit. And then it goes down and it's Round to the bottom. Hang on, I gotta do this so I can actually see it properly. I don't want to show you guys the wrong thing. Okay, so it's sort of that shaped. That's a bit blurry on the end because he's swinging it. So I'm just going to smudge it. It's going to So that's sort of the angle of it all. I oh, just noticed he does have a line down his pants. So not that you're really doing that, but see where it's creased, I made it wobbly and then straighter, and then down here where it's creased again. I'm going to make it wobbly. A bit too much there. Who did a dragon? Was it Jordan? Did you say you did a dragon? <laughs> I just saw that pop up. Um, yeah. So, how's everyone going with that baseball bat? Because then we're ready to do the face. Look at Reese's big muscle. <laughs> okay, is everyone ready to do the head? Thumbs up if you're ready to go. We've got one, two, three, okay, four. So he's got a big helmet on, so his face is here. 
on this side. So his head's roughly that size. Found a head that you know that sort of fits. Because the circle I drew before wasn't quite right. And that's his jaw. So about half of the head there is where his eyes are gonna be. So I need to actually take my glasses off to see this. So I'm gonna do an eye there. So I don't know if you can see that. What I did for the eye was I drew a line like this, and then that's the eye, and that's the bottom of the eye, in the eyelid. So just drew a line and that for the eye. That makes sense. Right over here. Get that in the shot for you. And then his nose. I've got to use my screen on my phone to see his nose is coming out sort of there. And then his mouth is there. So where his ear would be is where the round part, the ear protector of the helmet is. So it goes like that. Comes up to the brim of the helmet. And then we want to draw that past the head because it's bigger than the head. And it's rounded, but it's almost flat, square, rounded on the corners. Okay. And near the ear, this hole, so we can hear what's going on. So you see the hair on the back of his head there. <clears throat> okay, very super question. I tried everything to get the wetness off, but um, it ended up the, the head actually ripped off. So then I just <laughs> replaced it. I replaced it with Ghost Rider's head. Oh. Okay, fair enough. That'll work. It looks like Ghost Rider's playing. <laughs> playing <baseball. laughs> he's like playing baseball and he's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, but so. Then the ball goes on fire. And then the game ends. You should be hitting a fiery ball. Why don't you draw that? Oh my. Okay, so um, he's swung. So he's swung the bat towards the viewer. So if you wanted to do an action pose now, you could start over here and draw a, a loop that comes around. I'm just going to turn this around so I can do it a bit better. Turning it upside down. So I can go, see how I just did a quick like that? So now it looks like he swung the bat. I could do some lines going like that to show, you see those lines? to show where the bat was and it's moved up to that spot. It's a nice big curve. And then I could even show here, I could do a little flash or a little star where he's actually hit the ball. I could give it a sound effect. It goes tock. And then I could draw the ball out here. Going, being really, as if he's hit it really hard. 
There we go. And the ball's shot off. Make sure we come back to the. So there's just little little things you can add to the to your drawing to make it um, to tell a story, basically. Let's go. My arm gets a bit the camera um, camera arm gets a bit loose after a while. Let's just sit down. You know, you could even draw in the edge of the baseball field. Um, the the diamond that is actually on, so this could be all dirt around here, where this is grass. Yes, yeah, so just adding little little bits to finish off your drawing. Reese, you gonna give us an update? Like you said, I draw a fiery ball, but for a fiery ball, I draw an asteroid coming towards him, and then he gets a bat. <laughs> and then that's cool. Show me. Can I see it? He's playing. Can't you see it's on fire? The ball. The ball's on fire. Oh yeah. <laughs> Playing, That's cool. He's playing baseball and he's hitting it back to the moon. Fair yeah. enough, as, as you do. <laughs> so how did everyone go? Let me see your, your baseball guy, baseball player. My, my Marvel player. That's great. Um, Bianca, it looks like he's got a, well, he's not someone's head on. Looks like he's got a, um, a wig on. Uh, Abdul, that's good. Jordan, that's, an, that's a nice dragon. <laughs> Will, that's really good. Liam, that's great. Wow, yeah, really good. Good well, okay. Uh, Reese, put your hand down. So, we've only got, we've got uh, 25 minutes. So let, why don't we do another one? This time we're gonna do an animal. Can we get another sharp pencil? My camera's all tilted. Get my light back in. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do. Uh, I don't know why I feel like drawing an octopus, but they're not that easy to draw. Um, but they might be interesting. Why don't we start with that and see what we come up with? This pencil's way too small for me to use. I'm going to use this instead. Okay. So. Going to draw, Isaac, you look like you're mental. Um, a circle for the face <laughs> of the octopus. And then they have the big bulbous end, which is usually at the front. I can't remember if it's at the front like a big nose or if it's at the back like a head. Oh, this time I'm gonna draw it back. Get sort of that big bulbous body section happening and think about where the eyes are gonna go this could be a spider it could be anything right now but i sort of want to turn it give it legs as well as tentacles like an octopus man or something so i'm just going to make make it up as i go along there's the neck there's the shoulders and the body that's like the rib cage there you start seeing it taking form this is the shoulder this is the shoulder I'm going to do a bit of a it's sort of the abdominal area there, so sort the of abs in this area. So I haven't drawn the skeleton in this one, just sort of sketching it around and finding finding where things go. So that's the thigh coming down there. This is the buttock, and then the other leg. Uh, 
Liam, you got a question? Octopuses don't have bones. Uh, no, they don't. All the only bones in their body is their beak, which is underneath. But octopuses also don't have bodies like this and legs. So we're just making something up. <laughs> uh, just to make it a bit more interesting. So that's the shoulder. We might do the arm like that, and then it might turn into a tentacle. So maybe it has the shoulder, the tricep, the bicep, and then it's a tentacle. So just sort of, you, know, you, can, you can make it up a bit and think about where you're gonna put the tentacles coming from his head. Maybe he has uh, multiple tentacles on his arms or it could be her arms. I'll draw the other arm in and then I'll, I'll sort of leave it up to you guys to come up with the rest of it. Maybe the fingers are actually tentacles. I'm trying to get them to like wrap around themselves or each other, I should say. So they go over the top and underneath. And weird things like that. So, so don't wait for me. Jordan, that's really cute. Cute little bunny. Penguin winter. <laughs> oh, cockatiel. Nice. Did you draw all of these? Yeah, that's really cool. They're really nice. Nice design. How would you draw a really cute octopus then? Oh, I'm going to draw it. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing these bits around the eyes to then think about where I can do the tentacles that are going to come down the front there. I've been watching um, Pirates of the Caribbean, so it's reminding me a little bit of Davy Jones with all his tentacles instead of a beard. So where these cross over, I'm going to erase the bits underneath so I don't confuse myself. Um. <laughs> That's pretty cute, Jordan. <laughs> uh, Reese, you got a question? I watched Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah? Yeah. When was the last, what was the last, did you, have you seen all of them? Not all of them. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've seen all of them either. The only one I haven't watched is the last one. I think I missed the last couple. But we watched um, two and three the other night, or two nights in a row. So I'm just sort of adding little bits little tentacles. I mean, octopus, octopus, octopi only have eight tentacles, but how many have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but you can add as many as you want and keep going and adding more and more. Because it's just you know, some kind of weird creature. They don't all have to be long. You can do some short ones too. Jordan, do you know what an Octorok is? No? Have you ever played a Legend of Zelda game with Link? Okay. He fights these little um, octopus creatures that spit rocks at you. And uh, it's just, just drawing octopus, cute octopus remind me of an Octorok. So I did some getting smaller. These are really short ones there. Cool. 
this arm a bit. I didn't give her any pectoral muscles. Oh, and they need the tube that they breathe out of. They have like a tube sticking out the side that they breathe out of. Uh, look up an octorop, is that pretty cool? There we go. That's what they originally looked like, an octorock. And then that's a cushion you can buy. But they look like that as well. Like squid, little four legs, and they walk along. Sometimes they're buried in the dirt and hide with rocks or grass on their heads. Or a treasure chest sometimes. This one's a treasure chest. That was cute. Anyway, cute little Octorox. Hmm. So, what else could you do with this character? I mean, it's got no clothes on. You could add clothes to it. it would be nice. Uh, or maybe it's just a monster and doesn't have clothes. It could just be an, uh, like an animal that might not have a human form as I've drawn it. Oh yeah, I forgot the squid and octopus have those rectangular shaped pupils. So I'm just gonna change the shape of this eye and put this long pupil in. You can add like spikes and um, or just spots and things to it. Just let your creativity flow and um, see what you can come up with and how you can make it look cool and interesting or scary, depending on what you're going for. Um, spikes on the legs I'm doing down here as well, spikes up on the shoulder there. Maybe you want to cover it in a uh, ribbon and glitter and make it pretty and, and fairy-like. <laughs> I don't know. Could add some suckers. We didn't draw any suckers on there. They're usually just on the underside. So you don't always see them. So let me find that for a bit. Um, maybe the back of the head here is just one big brain. Let's see, get some reference for a brain. You could draw bits in it like that along the back of its head. So it looks like a brain. Race. I'm done. I did a Captain Jack. I did three cats. Yeah. The Captain Jack Sparrow cat. <laughs> yeah. Then I drawed two more. The second cats of mine are from X Men. I drawed a Cyclops cat. <laughs> nice. 
And I draw the Wolverine cat. Cool. I think he needs bigger claws. But he's a kitten, so he should be cute. Oh, okay. He can still have big claws and be cute. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. All right. I'm trying to um, copy this sort of brain texture. Looks like a little maze. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that. It sort of you know, curves around on itself. So again, you don't have to do the same as me on this one. You can come up with your own ideas. It's very fiddly. Do. I don't want to do it all the way. I'm just going to do it fading it off. Maybe do some veins going up there or something to feed blood to the massive brain. Okay. Jordan, last rainbow. All I want to do now, Jordan, is draw a cute octopus. <laughs> How long have we got? We've got 10 minutes. Maybe I'll draw a quick one. Let's see. Big head. Big eyes. Short tentacles. I'll try and finish this and show you before 
we run out of time. Okay, I'm going to trace this guy. So it stands out. Oh, there's my sharpies. There it is. So you can see the whole thing. Oh, Elizabeth, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's good, Jordan. Keep the luck, Chris. Try giving it even shorter um, legs. Whoa, Isaac, that's creepy. <laughs> it's like spider legs on it. A dual Rafael, that's really cool. Uh, Sashvati, it's hard to see that. I need to see that a, bit, a little bit closer if you can. It's a bit dark, I can't see that one, sorry. Liam, that's pretty cool. That race was that that was yours, Captain Jack. Will, that's great. But um, more tentacle legs, or tentacles coming off the legs. Uh, whew, stinky pens. Give him some uh, dreadlocks, Reese. Put some dreadlocks on him. <laughs> it's good. I, I'm, I colored him in, colored um, the Jack Sparrow in. Yeah. I, I colored the Cyclops in. For the Cyclops, I did like this tiny beard. <laughs> okay. For the Wolverine, I copied from this Wolverine. Yeah. Oh, look at it. It's like hilarious. He's even got it. He's still got his grandpa beard. <laughs> I like that. That looks cool. Um, Bianca, you got a question? First, I just want to show mine. Yep. Can you recognize what type it is, animal I base it off? Uh, it looks spider-like. Yeah, it's a spider. It has many eyes, except so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's got eight, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. Including legs, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, see, see the top point of your of the pectoral muscle on yeah. the on the left hand side. Yeah, that's a bit too high there. Okay. Uh, I would put it somewhere lower. lower near the second arm. Right. And yeah, just because it's it's a bit too high. Yeah, because so it's hard to tell because it's got three arms kind of on one spot. Mm. So you sort of oh, have yeah, to make that. Yeah, but just just lower that a bit. But it looks really cool. It's it's sort of being a little 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 oh hello little seductory, you know, for the time. Yeah, <laughs> your looks good too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll show you this other octopus in a second. I'm just going to color in the eyes. 
Do you want me to mute myself now? Uh, yes, please. There we go. One last little. Oh, this filter pen is not working. I'm going to throw that one out. How much time we got? We've got two minutes, everyone. All right, Jordan, you ready for this? Here we go. Bam. <laughs> It's got spots on it that are in little love heart shapes. <laughs> oh, so then, actually, well, we've got a couple of minutes. I don't know if you guys have ever used markers. Um, I've got so many markers. Or you can get Sharpies in different colors as well. But this is just a little marker. And they usually have a thick end or wedge end. And a pointy end to do details. I don't think Sharpie works well with these, but we'll see. So you can just sort of, you can be pretty rough coloring these in too. And the good ones like the Copics, you can actually um, blend the colors like paint. But see how I left that bit go for a while? That's probably gonna cause an issue when I try and color the whole thing in. You've got to do it sort of thick because if you don't, you'll leave little um, join lines in between all the passes that you do. So let's just quickly, I'll just do half of it. I'll show you, like if I did that and then come back, it's going to have a direct line right there. Markers. How's this? Bali beige. Oh, this one's a Copic. The Copics have, um, well, this one doesn't. Copics usually have a, a brush tip as well. Well, here, just it's just like using a, a brush, but this one doesn't have it. So the thinner ones have the brush tips. So see how that color didn't work too well there because it was going over the green. So if I wait late, let it dry for a bit, it still might show up a bit better. But you can sort of blend them. I want to be lighter under here. Um, on the underside of the tentacle. See, it's all different effects. Sometimes it does die. Oh, I get rid of that one. Because sometimes when you go over, once it's dry and you go over it again, you can make it darker, like a shadow. That's just using the same color but I made it darker because I went over it again. So you can try different, different techniques with markers. Um, oh, yeah, paints as well, paints as well, but I've just got a lot of markers. I used to use them all the time, but I put a drawer for them. That's why I just threw it into a drawer. Um, but yeah, no, if you get the chance, maybe give that a go. I know you can buy markers from um, uh, Lincraft possibly from Spotlight as well. I'm not sure if any markers come in the packs from Brilliant Kids. Peter might know a bit more about that. Um, but yeah, they're fun to work with if you ever get the chance. No question, Bianca? Yeah, I know it's a good brand that you can get some markers. It's um, called Touch Markers. It spells exactly as it sounds, Touch. Okay. I haven't heard of those. All right, good. Um, I've got some Copics. These ones are Reno Art. Reno Art. Yeah, R-E-N-O Art. Yeah. Um, 
where I used to get them from in Sydney doesn't exist anymore, but you can get like three of them for nine dollars. Well, okay. you can get a packet of 80 of touch for like I don't know, like 30, 20 dollars for 80. Yeah, it's wow. like a giant big thing about like that big. The pack is a little dodgy, but the markers are good <laughs> themselves. Okay. Um, actually, another brand I have is where is it? Here it is. Oh. is Iron Rack. Iron Rack. Oh, yeah, I heard a lot about that brand. We'll change they do that. a lot of graffiti stuff. Um, they do spray paints and things like that. These ones have the brush tip that I was talking about. So it's got a normal fine tip. Oh, that's like the touch ones. They have a double side. Yeah, and then these is the brush tip. So you can see it sort of, you can't really see there, it bends. So you can get oh. like nice thick and thin. Okay. So I don't know, they're not as good to color in with. But they, oh yeah, that has some effect to it. Yeah. If you get it all, like the, enough of the color on, you can get an even color. Okay. But yeah, so mark, let's see, I went out of lines then. Markers are pretty cool to use. Get yeah. the chance. Try them out. Um, I think that's it for today. We are over time. Are you there, Peter? Yeah, we are over time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, throw in there. Yeah. Uh, and of course, always use paper underneath your markers because they soak through. Yeah, that could yeah. have been oh, my mistake. Yeah. Look, we went through two, two pieces of paper. Yeah. I think I think we if, if you buy um. To buy the, the super star pack from Brilliant Kids, we got like uh, 54 markers. Oh, great. Is um, that through Brilliant Kids? Hips, hips up on a sketching pencil and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's a good, That's a good, good one. one. That yeah. one is a good one if, if you like markers. Yeah, markers are fun. I haven't used them in ages and now I've done that, I want to do more. <laughs> yep, we are out of time. We over time by five minutes, actually. All right, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm gonna unmute everyone to say goodbye to Mr. Evan. Remember to send uh, your artwork to Brilliant Kids if you can. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hey guys, thanks Bye. for drawing with me. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.